Hi everyone! Today I want to go through with you how to copy and paste tables from Excel into Microsoft Word. So the first thing you want to do is you want to format your table as much as possible in Excel. That's mainly because it's easier to format tables in Excel. It's not impossible to format tables in Word, but it's a little bit more challenging. So format it as much as you can in this document in Microsoft Excel. So if you want to bold your headers or your bold your totals, you can do it here. Um, if you want to add fills, for example, if you want to put a fill in here, you can put a fill before you copy it across and you want to put a border. You can do that as well here, right? The next thing you want to do is you want to go across to your Microsoft Word document and just make sure that certain settings are there. So things like, for example, you can see your ruler and you can also see your hidden characters. If you haven't seen my videos before, there I will leave a link in the description to a video where you can find out more about viewing your ruler and viewing hidden characters. Um, a brief synopsis is that you basically go on to view, to view a ruler, you click on ruler, and to view your hidden characters, you go on to home and you click on this reverse P and you can see all the characters that are normally not printed. Uh, so let's start. Let's get started into copying the information from Excel into Microsoft Word. So we select the data we want to copy. Control C to copy it, and then I come across here and I Control V to paste it. And when we paste it, we notice that there are a lot of hidden characters that come up in the numbers in the cells that have numbers in them, and that's because sometimes when you, depending on the format that you have your numbers in in your Excel document, it can create spaces when you paste it into Word. So an easy way to get rid of that is to highlight all the cells that has numbers in them and that has spaces in them, and you just go to Find Replace. And you go on to replace and you basically click a space in the find bar and you're replacing with nothing and you click on replace all they're gonna ask you if you want to search the rest of your document you're gonna say no and that's basically it so then you change your alignment because you notice the numbers are aligned on one end so you want to align it to the bottom to your right hand side and similarly, you want to align this to the bottom on your left hand side. Yeah. Um, and that's basically it. That's how you copy and paste information from Microsoft Excel into Microsoft Word. Now, there are a few things here to note. Um, as you can see, I can see my grid lines. Sometimes you may not be able to see your grid lines and it'll make it a little bit challenging to be able to work with your data so to view your grid lines on your table you go onto your layout tab and you click on view grid lines if you click outside of the table your layout tab won't come up so when you copy and paste your table from excel into microsoft word you click inside of your table you see your layout tab and you click on view grid lines once you click this once you won't have to click click it again automatically microsoft word will show you your grid lines the grid lines that are here are not printable so which means that they're only there so that you can see where your information is and you can see where the lines of the table are and if you print it you won't see it so what if i want to add a total so i come here i add a total format this i sum across i sum down paste formatting and now I have a total in this column so I want to put this total here so what you want to do is you want to click on store D and you're going to see on your quick access toolbar this symbol here to insert column to the right when you click on that a column comes up to your right if you're not familiar with the quick access toolbar I do have a link in the description that I will add where you can have access to your quick access toolbar. Uh, this information, this, this cell can also be added by going on your layout tab and you would see the shortcut here to click to insert right. So you can either click it here or you can add it to your quick access toolbar. Right. 
So in order to paste the information, which is the, the sum of all the different stores, uh, we're going to copy these cells across into the column we've just created. So what you want to do is you want to select the same amount of cells that you've created, that you've, the same amount of cells that you're going to copy across, you're going to have to select them here to paste them. So let's see, we're going to select here, Control Z, come across here, and we're going to select the same amount of cells, Control V. And that's how it's going to come up. We do the same thing again. We do a find and replace. Replace a space and we replace it with nothing. Replace all. We're not filling in the rest of the document. We're not replacing the rest of the document. And then we're just going to align it bottom right so that everything lines up just like the other stores. And that's how you basically insert information into your table. Something else you notice is that for this table, formatting of negative numbers is done using brackets. And using a bracket would cause your numbers to be out of alignment a little bit. So to get it to come back into alignment, you're going to highlight all the numbers that are negative numbers. And you would change your right alignment by coming up to your quick access toolbar where you see indent right. And you're going to set it to negative. Sometimes it can vary between negative 0.1 and negative 0.4. So we're just going to have to see um, what works here. 0.13 might be a little too far. So let's see 0.10. That seems a little bit better. Okay. So once you figure out what this number is that lines up your numbers, generally this alignment number that you need to punch in here won't change. And that's because the font size and the font type you're using throughout your document wouldn't really change. And that's basically in a nutshell how you copy and paste information and tables from Excel into Microsoft Word. In my next video, I would like to show you how to create this table using tabs. So I know many of us are familiar with tabs, uh, which are these little things at the top here. These little things that you use. So we're going to use tabs and I'm going to show you how to create the same table, but using tabs instead. Yeah. So I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again in my next video. Thanks. Bye.